Hello and welcome. So this is my Seiko SKS007 and I wanted to regulate it because uh, it had uh, more than 3 milliseconds beat error and it was 20 seconds slow day so I really wanted to regulate it. Ok, I opened it up, I watched some YouTube videos how to do it and uh, I managed to bring down the uh, beat error down to 0 or 0 0.1 um, milliseconds which is very nice and then I wanted to bring, the, bring down to the rate or bring the rate close to 0 seconds per day and uh, you know I'm not gonna go very deep into how to regulate it because you can watch a ton of videos of, on, on YouTube about that but what I want to tell you is I did the adjustments with my spring bar tool. So this is, you know, metal spring bar tool. And the thing was when I adjusted the rate, you see with this plus minus thing, I accidentally touched the hairspring. The hairspring is the heart of the watch. And it's a very, very tiny str spring. Uh, and, and you really have to be careful with it because you can easily bend it or destroy it. And so when I did the adjustments, when I pushed the the thing there, you know, to adjust the rate, I accidentally touched the, the hairspring actually twice. And I, you know, I'm just telling it and sharing this information because because I want you to know that you have to be really careful. The spring, uh, the hairspring is very very close to the to this this lever or what is called that you have to adjust. And you really should use something wooden, a toothpick or something. So I was lucky. I touched the hairspring and I didn't destroy it because uh, my time grapher shows uh, 0 0.1 um, uh, milliseconds beat error and I managed to bring the rate or adjust the rate to uh, plus 9 seconds a day. And uh, you know, I just leave it at that because because the the accident happened when I when I was trying to bring it even more close to zero. So what I would like to say is just be very careful when when you make the adjustments, when you regulate. Really, really, really be really careful. Do it with a wooden, like with a uh, toothpick or something like that. Don't do it with a metal uh, tool like the uh, spring bar tool. And you have to be very, very careful. Don't, don't touch the spring bar. Uh, the, not the spring bar. Sorry, the hairspring. I was lucky. I didn't destroy the hairspring, although I touched it. Uh, but yeah, don't play with luck. Just, just don't, don't touch the hairspring. Actually, now that I'm watching it, I'm not sure if this hair hairspring is completely all right because it's it doesn't look completely centered. Yeah, but whatever, the watch runs now much better than it did before. I'm, I'm happy that I didn't destroy the hairspring. So I just close it up and leave it at that 0 0.1 uh, minis, uh, millisecond beat error and plus 9 seconds per day <coughs> rate is, is very nice. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.